the TV thing kind of happened. It was my a friend of mine that I knew, a young guy that was a dancer. I knew him as a kid, and he grew up, and he was working professionally, and he was kind of at the end of his career and needed to pay his credit card bills. Mm. And uh, we met up at a competition in Vegas, and I said, come on, we have to go see my little ones. He was like, what do you mean? Your kids are here. I said, no, my good kids are here at this convention. My other kids are somewhere else. I have to run down the street to like a rinky-dink hotel and see them. And we he went with me and Maddie did her solo and then another little girl whose name you don't know, but probably should. And then another kid who you don't know either. And uh, they were, you know, sweet and nice and their moms paid their bills on time and were good customers. You don't know those kids. And uh, <laughs> they, his mouth was like on the floor. And I said, what is wrong with you? He goes, Abby. These kids are so cute. They should be on television. They have to be on TV. I said, let me introduce you to their mothers. <laughs> and then I took them outside around the pool area, like outside the ballrooms. And there they were, drunk and broke and bitching about everything. Everything. The sheets, the bedding, the the uh, housekeeping, the, the convention, the competition, ev everything. And uh, I said, let's go. We got back in the car and headed up to the fancy hotel where the... The kids were older and their mothers all didn't go because it's not a family vacation and a dance uh -huh. competition. And uh, he said, I have a really good idea. And that was it. And then it took him a year to develop the format and then to sell the show. And then all of a sudden, I got a phone, well, I, I got a phone call every day asking <laughs> questions about, well, who picks the music? Well, who picks the costumes? Well, how do they do this? What did I go, John, you danced your whole life. How do you not know this? He goes, I just wore black pants and a shirt and I showed up. <laughs> My mom and dad weren't that involved. That and I was like, okay. So then it went on and on and on and on and on. I feel like I developed the show. And uh, don't get the credit. And uh, they were coming to Pittsburgh to find a cast. And that was it. And the cast was my students. 30 people interviewed. Interviewed. Nobody auditioned. Nobody danced. There was no five, six, seven, eight. Really? No, the kids sat in a chair next to their moms and smiled. It was like more about personality. It was a housewife show uh -huh. centered around a dance studio. It was 80% the moms, 10% the kids, 10% dance, and I was not on the show. Crazy. I had nothing to do with it. They were just using my studio for free. 